Hello everyone. Today we learn about NDOAG laser. Neodymium, Ethereum, Aluminium, Garnet laser. Characteristics of a NDOAG laser. Type. It is a doped insulator laser or solid state laser. Active medium. Ethereum, Aluminium, Garnet rod. Active center. Neodymium. Pumping method, optical pumping, pumping source, xenon flash lamp, optical resonator, ends of rod polished with silver, power of output 2 into 10 power 4 watts, nature of output pulsed, wavelength 1.064 micrometer. Principle the term doped insulator laser referred to the active medium ethereum aluminate garnet is doped with nd3 plus ion the neodymium ion has many energy level due to the optical pumping the ions are raised to the excited energy levels during the transition from metastable state to E1, the laser beam of wavelength 1.064 micrometer is emitted. Construction Here, the active medium is made as rod which has ethereum aluminate garnet doped with a rare earth material ND3 plus ion. This rod is placed inside a highly reflect reflecting elliptical cavity. The flash tube may be switched on and controlled by the capacitor. Working of a NDOAG laser. Here we can explain the working of an NDOAG laser from the energy level diagram. The Xenon flash lamp is switched on and the light is allowed to fall on the laser rod. The intense white light is excites the ND3 plus ions from the ground state to various energy levels above E2. Hence, the atoms are raised to two group of higher levels in E3 as shown in figure. From these energy levels, the ions make non-radiative decay and is gathered in a state called as metastable state until the population inversion is achieved. Once the population inversion is achieved, the stimulated emission builds up rapidly. Hence, pulsed form of laser beam of wavelength 1.064 micrometer is emitted during the transition from E4 energy level to E1 energy level. Applications the neodymium ethereum aluminium garnet laser is used to transmitting the signals to a longer distance. It is also used in long haul communication. It is used in the field of medical endoscopic application. It is also used in remote sensing applications. Thank you everyone.